Hey guys, below the bottom tier here again, and today we'll be doing a fun build, the glass cannon build, which will be based around melee, the easterly wind chaser. It could be any melee, just as long as it's legendary or above. The armor could be changed though to Okaptian armor, but I don't have the money. Uh, so here's the relics. The Mask of Hugo is for Decay. Screamies so that we can keep the health under 750. Reason for that would be the Amulet of Deathly Howls, which if under 25%, which is under 750 health, double your melee damage. The Ring of Spiritic Fusion just to increase your melee damage and range damage and the cookie just for backup so what we'll be doing today is running all kept caverns which it will be a really fun run because i find this really fun but very risky so here you normally see that you can 3-shot an Ogum with melee. But later on, uh, once the effect triggers, I'll show you that you can actually 2-shot it. So since it's just the start, uh, we'll have to wait for my health to down to 750 below 750 oops i walked into that one can actually do this with the Easter Demon Chaser, which I find really fun. Now, uh, here's why I always bring the Ring of Spirit Fusion. You can also do this with the uh, Mark of the True. It's to one-shot those with a power shot those creepers, which I find really annoying, so I prefer to one-shot them. So bait the shot, and... can actually deal with opens like this. Oops. Not bad. Fucked up there in the middle. Now, underneath 900 health, the Mask of Decay, or the Mask of Hugo, starts to trigger and that happens. Uh, they walk slower. So, which is very important for this build. And I'll show you the reason why later. I don't see you. What you can do is you can actually decay him and then just run and shoot. You can even choose to melee him, but it's a lot safer to do this. And we don't have the proc yet since we're not under 750. So just keep that in mind. Uh, better safe than sorry.
See, look at that. Works really well with the Eastern Wind Chaser. And they're so slow that they can't really get away from the Genados. Now the skill's active. Underneath 500, we always use Screamies, because it heals you for 250. So it will keep us underneath, two, uh, underneath 750, so that's why you always bring Screamies. The higher the heals, it just removes your... Amulet of Howls. So, Screamies is a very important part for this build. Now, watch this Oakum. He slowed. It's one. That's two. So you can just easily kill things off like that. Only problem you'll really have is the archers. Because they hit you from range. Which is really annoying. This one you can even one shot it without right clicking. Which, if you notice, uh, you don't need much mana because most of your attacks now become uh, not powered, but normal. While we still have the tornado, let's lure in the vamp back. See, they're so slow that they just die. With the better equipment, you can actually run mount with this. Uh, you can actually swap the cookie with uh, what do you call this? Peekaboo Brew to increase your damage. But I prefer safety over damage, and I'm still not very used to this build. What's nice is you can actually right click that and then you can kill both instead of just damaging them both with a normal attack. Uh, normally without the amulet of Deathly Howls, you won't kill them even if you right click. This one also, you can just one shot with a right click. But the main problem is the health, uh, which can get really scary because you always need to keep it at a certain level. And 750 health is not a lot. So you have to bait a lot of the shots and it could get really risky. Oops. Forgot that the decay has. It also throws off your timing, so do practice this first if you actually plan to use it. Uh the mask of Hugo really throws off your shift attacks or your pre-attacks
as you can see not much trouble in dealing with enemies in terms of damage because you're a glass cannon but fire is your worst enemy that's why this one could really be replaced with Okepian armor, which reduces your fire damage by We're at the end, we barely used any of our healing. Uh, that's why I really like this. Uh, if you get used, once I get used to it more, I might try mount with it. Though the problem with mount is the nether demon, which if you saw in my previous videos, it spawns minions and he gains invulnerability if you don't kill those minions. So uh, I guess the mask can help with that, but I'm still not very confident with it. So that ends our run with the Glass Cannon build. It's just about the same amount of time, higher risk, but for me, it's personally one of the most fun builds I've ever had the pleasure of trying out. Uh, it's a, I'm not sure if anyone has done this before, but like it's a build I was messing around with. So give it a try if you have the items. If you don't want to risk any of your items, then don't try it. <laughs> uh it it would just be a waste to throw away your items because you died but ultimately this can be replaced it just makes timing your attacks a lot harder uh with that being said below the bottom tier out